So, Lindsay and I have a few brief remarks as we wrap up. So, I'm going to let Lindsay go first. Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Lindsay Wood Jeffries, and I am still hopeful. <laughs> um, I thank you all for your endurance and your focus. Um, while we had a lot of panels here today, I want to bring your attention to your programs. And on the back, it says, thank you, and let's keep it going. So, there's three options here. Share your story, volunteer, advocate. And I wanted to just share a couple things that I want to take away, and then I want to ask each of you to do a quick, very quick, think, pair, share. So think independently, pair up with someone, and then I'll ask for a few people to share, if you don't mind, Stephen. Um, I proved it with Callie. <laughs> um, and so first, sharing your story. Um, one thing that we suggested is to thank someone. And I wanted to tell you just a very quick personal vignette. I was helping my mom clean out the basement a few months ago, and I found a certificate where I got best in art in fifth grade. And I remember getting that because I was terrible in art. And I'm not, I still can't draw, but I have a creative mind, and Mr. Eldrith recognized that. And he is a potter in my hometown. And I wrote him a note and said, thank you, Mr. Eldrith, because you kept me staying creative and not getting bogged down and not being able to draw a perfect human figure or something. And he wrote me back and sent me a painting, which I have in my living room. You never know who you need to thank and how much it's going to help them. Um, I think also we should share the story to build new partnerships. I want you to encourage um, to share that quick little task video we showed this morning about the middle school brain. More people need to know about that. People care and know about um, early childhood being important for the brain, and middle school is also almost as important, and we need to have that pipeline go through. So share that. Um, shout out again to task. And um, share your research. Uh, I talked to Beth from APT. At research didn't get a lot of attention at this summit, but it's incredibly important. And there's really compelling data about the importance of research. So keep sharing that information. Volunteer, probably the most important thing you can do. That's how I got into this world 15 years ago as a volunteer and lots of volunteers in this room. And lastly, advocate. Speak up, share your stories, write op-eds. More work will be coming out of this to come. So I want to quickly. Think, I'm going to give you, hopefully you've been thinking, for like 10 seconds quietly. Turn to a partner for like two minutes, and then I'll ask for a few people to share. Think. Okay, so thank you for pairing up. Um, I want to ask for a few volunteers to share. I'll wait. I want to ask a few people to share what they are going to do, what the next step action they're going to do taking away from this summit. Volunteers, one concrete thing you're going to do. Yes, Rob Malone. This is really a detailed item, but I, one of the things I took notes on, someone talked about sort of the culture of their uh, organization and activities with students, and it made me think about where I volunteer, what are the norms you would expect to see every time you showed up? I heard community time, at higher achievement, other groups have other things. But when I wrote them down, I realized we don't do them every time, and we're not consistent, and so it doesn't leave kids with that comforting feeling because we're not doing them consistently. So one of the things I'm going to do is I've got my list of things that we do sporadically <laughs> and then we'll agree as a group of volunteers which ones should we make consistent. Awesome. Rituals and habits. I like it. Do we have one other volunteer? I bet we do. 
Yes. Hey, my name is Brian Carter with the Overdeck Foundation. I think for myself, I realized that I need to get with a mentorship program. Um, I used to do it a lot in the past, and it's fallen out of my life. So I, I'm going to find the right mentorship program for me. Awesome. Thank you. And I am going to turn it over to Stephen. So again, I know I'm standing between you and, a, and, a, and some wine, so it's very dangerous, and I'll be quick. Um, but to thank Lindsay, to thank um, Fidelity and Ford again, to thank all the co-conveners, each and every one of the speakers was great. Again, if you didn't get a chance to go to every panel, and if you did, I'd like to know how you cloned yourself, but if you didn't, we're, it's, they've all been streamed, and we're going to record them, we'll be sending out links um, as, as part of that. So I think there's just two quick things that kind of summarize, not to summarize everything, because I didn't get to hear, but I was thrilled at the number of big bets we heard today. There were some exciting big bets. Um, from AmeriCorps, the two cities are doing, what the mayor of New York has done, what, what the mayor of Washington is doing, with big bets with some of the individual schools, with big bets with individual students really turning them around and saying fundamentally we can do this to what our, our, some of the federal legislators are doing. The other thing is the message of quality, when, that several people said time is important, but it's not just more hours. We all know more hours can be mediocre or worse. So you heard amazing educators give creative answers, whether it be from Chicago, from Chelsea, from Phoenix, from Boston, from New York, from Washington, from all other. Um, quality of the data um, is important. We, we do that OK as a field. We have to do more of that. And the quality of some of the STEM work and the panel there and so many other things. So I am deeply grateful to all of you. I also just the other thing is we talked about as you add to that list that Lindsay talked about, advocate, advocate, advocate. That we're at a critical point. The United States Congress and the President could, could have a new education law, and we could play a major role in there, or we could take our eye off the ball, and it may not happen for another 15 years. So there's fact sheets out there. Um, Citizen Schools has one. There are others. In terms of what to do, it's, there's nothing more important than staying focused on that. And as we do, I want to end with kind of two quotes as we started. I love, Ms. Perkins, your quote, they don't care what you know until you, they know that you care. So I'm going to remember that, and thank you for sharing that. And as we leave for wine, to restate what Lindsay said earlier from the President when he said, our, young nation, our nation's young dreamers and innovators deserve the chance to reach for their dreams. And it is our duty to help unlock the potential within each of them. What you're doing is helping unlock the potential. Thank you. And during the cocktail, we're going to be giving an award. A lot of us are here because of the great work of former United States Senator Edward Kennedy. We're honored that his daughter-in-law is here. So after you have wine and cheese and whatever, we're going to be recognizing her and to give the award to the late Senator Kennedy. Thank you for all of your great work.